Hi, I'm Eric. I'm an electrician here with Heritage Home Service. And today we're going to be doing a maintenance on this standby generator. This one happens to be a Generac here at Heritage. We're a certified Generac dealer. But what we're going to go over today pretty much applies to all residential standby generators. Let's get started. Standby generators need maintenance just like your car. They do have an internal combustion engine. Here in the Northeast, we recommend you get a maintenance yearly. In other parts of the country, manufacturers recommend a bi-yearly maintenance. This generator has an indicator light on the side, which is specific to Generac. The green light tells us that it's in auto and ready to run. The amber light tells us that it's due for maintenance. This is a factory maintenance kit. It contains all the parts we'll need to perform this maintenance today. Let's pull them out and go over them. We're gonna start by extracting the oil out of the generator. While we're extracting the oil, we can change out both spark plugs and the air filter and remove the oil filter. And then once it's fully drained out, we can fill it back up with two quarts of 5W30 full synthetic motor oil. First thing we're gonna do is open up the generator, run it in manual mode so we can get the engine up to temp, get that oil up to temp so it's easier to extract. So we've let the generator run for a couple minutes to get up the temp, shut it off. Now we're going to remove the front cover and start draining the oil. This is our oil drain. If you were going to drain into a pan, you would bring this down and drain your oil that way. But today we're going to use an oil extractor. Up next, we're gonna remove the old oil filter. You can use a scoop or some means to catch the oil coming out, and then a rag to clean up if you do spill any. And this is gonna be warm when you take it off, so be careful. We're gonna remove the oil filter, get our scoop in place, and let that drain out. Here we have our new oil filter. We're gonna remove the plastic cover and discard. We'll take a drop of oil, lubricate the new O-ring, install it back on, and tighten the spec. Now we're gonna be replacing the spark plugs. This generator has a V-twin engine. There is a cylinder in the front and a cylinder in the back. Now we're gonna start on the front. We can discard the old spark plugs and install a new one. Start that by hand, get your ratchet. And torque to spec. All right, so far we've drained the oil out of the unit. We've replaced the oil filter to ensure we have nice clean oil in there. We've replaced both spark plugs to ensure we have proper combustion. And next, we're gonna change the factory air filter. The air box on this unit is located right on top. It may be in a different location depending on generator or manufacturer, but we're gonna go ahead and change this one out. You can see this does have some debris trapped in there doing its job. We're gonna put a new filter in. Now that this is finished draining, we can go ahead and remove our extractor tube. Cap our drain hose. And clip it back into location.
remove your oil fill cap. Check your manufacturer specifications. This generator calls for full synthetic 5W30 and this holds 1.9 quarts. You should list that right in your owner's manual. We're gonna go ahead and just fill it up. Now that we've put all the oil in, replace your oil fill cap. Clean up any mess you may have made, and we're good to start. All right, now that we've performed our maintenance, we can double check all our connections, make sure everything's good and tight. We'll run the unit in manual, let it run for about 30 seconds, stop, let it cool for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna check our oil level. Now we're going to check our oil level, remove your dipstick, wipe it off, insert fully, pull it back out, you can see it's right at the full mark. Now we're going to reset the maintenance timer, put the unit back in auto, and we're done. Now that we've finished our maintenance, we can go ahead and close the unit up. Make sure it's in auto and we'll head inside, test the function of the transfer switch by performing a mock outage. We're here at the transfer switch location to perform a mock outage and to test the function of the transfer switch as well as the voltage of the generator. We will be working inside live electrical equipment and this should only be performed by a qualified person. I have a work light set up in the background because we will be killing power, but we're gonna go ahead and open up the transfer switch. Here we have our main breaker. When we shut this off, this will simulate a power outage. We're also gonna take off the dead front and set that aside. I have my meter handy. When we shut this breaker off, it'll kill power to the house and to the generator. Generator's gonna start up in five seconds. Then it will wait to get up to speed before it transfers. Now we're on generator power, we can go ahead and test our voltage. Voltage looks good. We do have some load on the generator, which is nice. 239 volts, right within spec. We'll go ahead and restore power, turning this breaker back to the on position. This shows the generator that utility power is restored. It's gonna wait about 15 seconds, transfer back to utility power, and then shut down. Now we're back on utility power. Everything looks great inside here. Everything functions well, and we're gonna go ahead and close it up. So that finishes up our generator maintenance. If you do own a home standby generator, we'd love to come out and check it out. You can call us, visit us online, and that's it. Thanks for watching.